Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we do have some interesting updates coming from the folks at Epic Games Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine 4.27 Preview 1 is right here and of course this comes with a couple of things. Yes, I do know a lot of you guys are super excited about Unreal Engine 5, the beta, but this is a preview for 2.7, especially for those that are into production, those that are into, you know, cinematic stuff, virtual production things. Right now, there are a huge set of updates that you would want to take advantage of. One of the beautiful things with this one is Odo and Blink are now built into Unreal Engine 4.27. And most of you guys will be asking, you know, what is this? We've already talked about Odol and Blink, you know, as a tool that will be coming over to 4.27 sometime in the year. And uh, we talked about the fact that Odol was now free for Unreal Engine users via GitHub, but it's very interesting to see that it is now built in. And we also mentioned time that folks at Epic Games, they did buy the Rad Game tools and uh, all of the beautiful things that comes with it. You can now take advantage of these and do some lovely things like optimizing your data and doing some good compression. And for sure, for those who are into video encoding, this is also something that you can take advantage of. And with that said, let's take a look at some of the beautiful improvements, updates, and also cool stuff that is coming over to 4.27. Audio updates is right here. So there's a couple of audio updates for those who like to, or for those that are working with quads, there's a couple of audio updates. This really seems to focus a bit more on virtual production and cinematic as this is like one of the longest lists so in terms of things that you can work with there's a take recorder shortcut which is now available there is also some sequencer director shortcut which is here and virtual camera improvements are also in build now for those who are into working with end displays end displays will be coming to linux very very soon as right now if you go all the way down there is a linux support in end display which is currently experimental and just like we had in 4.25 a couple of things are experimental right now so you can also see that uh, we have the end display over scan which is also experimental we have an improved mgpu support in end display and that is also in beta and of course lens distortion is in beta as well in terms of core integration and cooking there are some updates which you can now work with and for sure for those that are into architectural things you're not left out as the data smith and import updates now includes a whole new set of things that you can now do with AkiCAD and Twinmotion. So in terms of importing things, once you're now importing stuff, this now supports, the data smith actually now supports, you know, uh, geometry and hierarchy data are now supported in terms of how these things are being structured and how they're presented within Unreal Engine. Materials are coming in, lights are coming in, cameras are coming in and layers are coming in. So it's just more like uh, you're bringing exactly the same thing that you have from your, you know, your DCC app of choice and you're getting that in Unreal Engine, but with a much more flexible and better lighting and a wonderful render. And for those working with tools like Rhino, SketchUp, 3D Studio Max, Revit, Navitworks, there are improvements right here. So you may want to come through and check it out. USD improvements is here. For those working with LiDAR and um, trying to get their point cloud, there is a point cloud plugin improvement. There's a better point size algorithm. So this is quite beautiful. The mobile update is here and we have the Niagara visual effects update. So tons of stuff and uh, lots of cool things happening with Epic Games on Real Engine 4.27 now. And yes, we did talk about the Rad Game Tools integration. The rendering update shows up with a path tracer and a GPU light mask. And of course, these are currently in the beta. So for those that are into rendering, for those that are into lighting, you want to take advantage of these things, you can go through and check it out. And finally, for virtual reality and XR creators, there are certain updates that you can also come through and check out. Now, the VR platforms that are currently supported with the VR template, they include the Oculus Quest 1 and 2, Oculus Quest with Oculus Link, Oculus Rift S, Valve Index, HTC Vive, and the Windows Mixed Reality. So, if you're into any of this and probably you want to catch up with some of this cool improvement, some of the beta, some of the experimental stuff, I would suggest that you go get the preview version of Unreal Engine 4.27 and start taking advantage of them. So for those who would like to check on the bugs that have been fixed, you wanna check on the things that are still here, there is a link in the description that can bring you right over here where you can see some of the unresolved stuff and where you can see some of the fixes. And that's more like it. Of course, I would like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And for those who are working with Unreal Engine 4.26, 
keep working with this one you can install the preview take advantage of them see what's coming but i wouldn't suggest that you use that for your final or your main project the same way i wouldn't suggest that you use unreal engine 5 the early access for your major main or even you know your final project i wouldn't advise that you use it at least not now so Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update pre-friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace